Welcome vegans, we have the Fusion Cycles in Singapore have the 2017 Defy out. So it looks very similar geometry. It looks like it's got flat mount discs. I'm not sure what the advantage is there, but it's like it's got a weird dropout. Standard quick release, maybe a dropout. Through axles on the front, definitely, and maybe on the back. Tire clearance were not confirmed for this models yet. We're not confirmed for this model. Come stock with 25C. Come stock with 25C, so we're not too sure. But there's a, a Defy Advanced flat bar. Still, though, the gear ranges are not really that good. It's still a 32 cassette, so you might want to switch, switch that out. Switch that out, but the brakes there, the DR2. The colours, though, not a bad colour. I do like that. I do like that. It's the bright TCR colour, I think. Let's have a look. There actually was a sneak preak. This is where is this? This is Tramps and Steeds 2017 to 5 with a close up here. What sort of caliper is that? What sort of caliper is that? I'm not sure. But we've got a through axle. We're running 140s on there. You probably run a 160 on there, maybe. But it does look like a change frame from the current to fire, which I already have, which is good. My only critique with the current to fire is you're limited to 28 mil tires. I've tried, I put 30s on there and it works, but under high power, it will rub along here. So it does look a little bit different, like a bit of a flat top tube, a bit more angular potentially, but it's going to be a good bike. The current Defy is really good as well. Uh, there's a video about it, and uh, that's about it. So that's the Defy 2017. It's, it's been released. It's not on store yet, but it should be too far away. But it'll be interesting to see what the tyre clearance is like. Uh, we'll go from there. All right, look forward to a release, an official release from Giant to confirm the deets. Got any questions, let us know down below. Car the fuck up, go vegan, see you on the road. Action. You said a bit of car traffic there, sorry for the interruption. Carbon versus alloy doesn't fucking matter. You put me on my Trek and Monda ALR, I'm gonna go as far as up the hill as my TCR. That ALR or the TCR, same, same. The carbon can be a bit more comfortable, the layup, but you can do everything on a carbon bike that you can do on an alloy bike, and vice versa.